hi everyone in this video i am going to continuing the limitations on scaling in the previous video i have started this limitations on scaling and where i have discussed the limits in this substrate doping nb substrate doping indicated by nb that decides the amount of concentration to make it as a p type or n type okay when we are considering the substrate p type or n type the uh, doping concentration is very much necessary so in this uh, when you are taking the relation direct relation between the doping concentration and the depletion region so depletion region has to be reduced generally so as we are increasing the nb depletion region can be reduced but when you are increasing the nb it indirectly affects the built in potential as the built in potential increases again depletion region increases so that is the uh, compromise between these values nb vb and depletion region that's why depletion region has a limitation like 1.3 into 10 power 19 per centimeter cube okay now we are going to see the limits of miniaturization and the limits of interconnecting contact resistance so second one is limits on limits of limits of miniaturization so what do you mean by miniaturization what do you uh, what are you meaning of that miniaturization is nothing but reducing the size of the transistor when you are saying a transistor size is going to be reduced for every 2 years as the number of transistors are getting doubled on any integrated circuit for 2 years that means you are saying that the transistor size is going to be reduced that is done with the help of this miniaturization technique so the size of the transistor is usually defined in terms of its channel length the size of the transistor is defined by its channel length okay suppose if you are saying 5 micrometer technology or 2 micrometer technology or 1.2 micrometer technology you are saying that that 1.2 micrometer or 5 micrometer those are related to length of the channel l is equal to 5 micrometer that is the meaning of 5 micrometer technology so you are referring the name of the transistor technology as the length of the channel so that's why the size of the transistor is defined by its channel length and the name technology name is also given by that so as the channel length is scaled down the edge of the depletion region around the source comes closer to the drain that is what i told see here take a transistor mos transistor this is n diffusion this is another n diffusion and it is the p type substrate suppose when you are see the distance between these two regions is indicated by length of the channel okay as the number of transistors are going to be increased on an integrated circuit the size of the transistor is going to reduce size of the transistor is reducing means we are reducing the length of the channel that is the reason why we are having different technologies like 5 micrometer technology 2 micrometer technology and 1.2 micrometer technology right now presently the technology is at nanometer technology like 7 nanometers technology 6 nanometer 5 nanometer that is the nanometer technology means that is the size of the length suppose if you are taking 7 nanometers then the size between the distance between this source and drain is 7 nanometers in this 5 micrometer technology the distance between the source and drain is 5 micrometer technology in this it is 2 micrometer technology 1.2 micrometer technology but now currently the, the technology is at 7 nanometer technology means the distance between these two is a 7 nanometer technology but now what happens when you are scaling down this length of the channel if you are going to scale down beyond this limit then what happens this depletion region and this depletion region come closer to each other so when two depletion regions are coming closer to each other there will be a meeting of these two then there will be no flow of current and no creation of channel okay so in order to prevent this punch through 
and main trans and maintain transistor action it can be shown that the channel length l must be channel length l must be at least two times the depletion region two times the depletion region so as l decreases as l decreases source and drain come closer to each other to each other so the limitation on length of channel is l is equal to 2 times the depletion region with d okay depletion region with means this one okay this one everywhere the entire distance from here to here from this uh, n-type diffusion to the additionally we are having this area this is the depletion region the thickness of this depletion region is indicated by d okay so we have to maintain a minimum of two times the depletion region okay if depletion region reduces then we can reduce the length of the channel correspondingly this is what the relation we have okay therefore the l in turn the l is in turn determined by the substrate concentration nb and supply voltage vdd okay because because the depletion region whatever the parameters that depletion region is depending on the same parameters that are now applicable to this l so as the depletion region as the depletion region depends on as the depletion region depends on uh, applied voltage we can say applied voltage like vdd applied voltage and doping concentration nb the length of the channel also depends on them because both are depletion region and length of the channel both are proportional to each other okay this is what the limitations on the miniaturization the limitations on the miniaturization is nothing but length of the channel we are discussing here the limit on this length of the channel is 2d now coming to the third one that is limits on limits of interconnect interconnect and contact resistance and contact resistance <coughs> limits on interconnect and contact resistance okay so what do you mean by interconnect what do you mean by contact resistance suppose when you are taking a transistor is like this and one more transistor somewhere here it is there there is a wire or a copper wire we are using the output of this one should be connected to this input so this distance from here to here the output of this transistor is connected to the input of this transistor between these two we are using a contact wire this contact wire is having some internal resistance okay this interconnect wire is having some internal resistance that should be discussed here can we increase more length or is there any limit that is need to be discussed here okay since the width and thickness width thickness and spacing of interconnects are each scaled by on by, on by alpha suppose if you are taking the parameters like width comma thickness and spacing of interconnects spacing of interconnects are each scaled by 1 by alpha because all these parameters we are scaling down by 1 by alpha 
cross sectional areas are also scaled by what is the area scaling factor area is scaled by 1 by alpha square thus for short distance interconnections the conductor length is also scaled by 1 by alpha when you are taking a short distance from here to here the conductor length is scaled by therefore the conductor length conducting wire conductor length is scaled by 1 by alpha so that the resistance when you are reducing the conductor conducting from here to here conductor what about the resistor resistance conductance we are reducing by alpha so 1 by alpha is the scaling factor for the conductance and what about the resistance resistance is increased by alpha resistor is increased by because resistor and conductor both are inversely proportional to each other resistor is increased by alpha hope you understand so for constant scaling for constant scaling constant scaling is nothing but balancing all the parameters for constant scaling current i is scaled by 1 by alpha so that there will be no change in the ir drop so that there is no change in ir drop see here what we are doing suppose we are taking the interconnection from here to here with a conducting wire the conductance of this conducting wire is reduced by 1 by alpha but because of this reduction resistance is increased by the same factor alpha as the resistance is increased by alpha if i is scaled by 1 by alpha and the multiplication of i r drop alpha alpha get cancelled so i r drop remains constant i r drop remain constant that type of uh, scaling is known as constant scaling constant scaling <coughs> and thus it represents a higher proportion of the supply voltage vdd which is also scaled by 1 by alpha thus driving capability and noise margins are degraded see here what is happening when you are taking the constant scaling with respect to i and r but voltage what do you mean by v v is equal to ir but according to the above relation we are saying that ir drop is constant remains constant remains constant but what we are doing we are again scaling by again scaling the voltage by 1 by beta 1 by beta so because of this noise margin because of this noise margin and driving capability driving capability of mass transistors degraded of mass transistors degraded okay so with decreasing device dimensions we are also seeing further increase in the levels of integration and consequent increases in the die size so what could be the remedy for this one what could be the remedy for this one one solution to this problem has been to make the use of multi-layer interconnections with thicker wider conductors and thicker separating layers what is the problem why this problem occurs so because this problem is because of the reducing the length of the conductor so solution for this length of the uh, reduction in the length of the conductor is reducing the length but increasing the thickness of the conductor so that the dimensions will be unique so solution for this is for this is reduce the conductor length but increase the thickness increase the thickness so that will keeps the resistance of the device 
constant so that ir drop again it will be affected by that and the voltage will be scaled down so that the degradation of noise margins cannot be occurred okay uh, if you are taking the propagation delay along with aluminum interconnects propagation delay with aluminum interconnects <coughs> aluminum interconnects tp is equal to r interconnect and capacitance interconnect plus 2.3 times on resistance into capacitance interconnect plus on resistance into load capacitance plus r interconnect into load capacitance so we can write it as 2.3 times r on plus r entry connect into capacitance entry connect this is what the propagation delay if you are taking the aluminum entry connects between two resistors what we have discussed between two transistors like this <coughs> okay so this is what the interconnect is okay thank you